Hello, this video is inspired in part by Irish's vid about the Reagan presidency. But also, Iris talks about in the video that that it seems here, as of late, uh, what we used to regard as, as heroic, heroic leaders in our nation's history have been seemingly vilified uh, almost by design. Now let me... How do I put this? Um, I don't know necessarily if, if there's some sort of weird design at work here that's like, oh gosh, we'll, we'll just tear down these former heroes of, uh, of conservative behavior, right? I don't think that's the case at all. I think recently there is the, you have the advent of the internet and a great, great resource of information has been made available to a lot of people. And what ends up happening is within this resource, there's a bunch more information than what we had before. And because of a human's natural desire to exercise confirmation bias, we can find what added, whatever data will suit our point. And given the lack of, of fact-checking and the lack of, of context based on what a person wants to fit into their hypothesis... You just get a mess, you know. You get to where, where, what did you say? Uh, you pointed out Lincoln. You could you could point out all sorts of examples about how Lincoln was a poor president. Um, Theodore Roosevelt was it? Theodore Roosevelt. What the hell did he do as president anyway? You know, uh, set up little conservation areas and stuff. But man, he was frankly a, a flat out shithead as assistant secretary of the navy. I've never seen anything like it. If you look up the history of that and his great white fleet, holy crap, holy. <laughs> um, bringing us to Reagan as president. Um, so much stuff to do with him and, and Iran and the, the crap that, that he did to Iran. So check this out. Iraq launches a missile at a United States cruiser, the Stark, right? Blows it to shit. What do we do? We attack Iran. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Iran Contra. Oh my gosh. What a freaking nightmare. What a mess. Granted, it can't be easy to run a Cold War, and there's so much shit that we'll never even hear about, and nuclear destruction from either side, you know, something that, that'll come to light just like the Cuban Missile Crisis or whatever. It becomes very easy to vilify our former heroes of conservative behavior. You could you could find something bad about any president because those guys they have to make a tough call in the moment. Uh, you know what's the real problem? What's the real enemy? <laughs> we know what that is. World one. Um, but I wouldn't sweat it too awful much. I don't think you're ever going to find a a true hero of of conservative values and principles that you're seeking. Because what gets declared a conservative, and I think we're finding a very good example with the current Republican offering, conservative has, has nothing to do with core founding principles anymore. Conservative has to do with maintaining a particular status quo. So, if a progressive movement somehow slips in their policy and that policy of the progressive movement becomes a status quo, guess what the conservatives do? They fight to maintain it. That's the bottom line. And you can call it neocon, you can call it what you will, but that is what is running the Republican Party right now. Uh, you know, right up to it, including, you know, entitlement policies and, and, and government uh, things. Ooh, look at that curl. I don't know, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> we'll see y'all later.